French website Mediapart has published the alleged fake invoices on its website, and has claimed that these invoices had enabled the French aircraft manufacturer Dassault Aviation to pay at least 7.5 million euros in kickbacks to a middleman, who helped it secure the 59,000 crore rupees deal with India for 36 Rafil fighter jets. The Indian government has maintained, that it cannot disclose the details of the price of the aircraft that comes with customized weaponry because of a confidentiality agreement with France, and the strategic reason of not showing its hand to India's enemies. Just several weeks before the delivery of the first S-400 air defense system to India, the Russian Ministry of Defense has announced that both India and China are set to be export customers of Russia's latest S-500 air defense system. India has ordered both the 40N6C and 48N6 interceptor missiles with the S-400 system, but the S-500 comes with a 77N6N1 series missile that has a range of 600 km and a speed of Mach 24, and procuring them would enable India to effectively counter hypersonic glide vehicles and hypersonic cruise missiles, in which China has made serious advances. The Indian Defence Secretary has said, that a good response has been received on the Indian Navy's P-75I submarine's request for proposal from both foreign original equipment manufacturers and the two Indian strategic partners, and all the bids will be evaluated, and everything will be finalised very soon. On the Army's light tank procurement, he has said that there is a fast-track process and there is an emergency procurement process, and the Army can go through these processes if needed. He also added, that the final negotiations of the AK-203 contract are going on, and the local production will start very shortly. The Indian Defence Secretary has said, that one major contract for air-launched unmanned aerial vehicle has been signed under the India-US Defence Technology and Trade Initiative and several other projects are in the advanced stages including naval systems, air systems and aircraft carrier technology cooperation. He also said, that a subgroup led by DRDO on critical technologies for aero engines is engaged in talks with the US counterpart. He also added, that the DRDO is also in discussions with several other vendors including Rolls-Royce Saffron and General Electric, and indigenous effort is also being taken to develop the same capabilities by the gas turbine research establishment. Larsen and Tubro has been awarded a prestigious order from the DRDO to construct their flight control system facility at Aeronautical Development Establishment in Bangalore. The project involves construction of a 1.2 lakh square foot facility consisting of ground plus six floors, in an extremely fast track timeline of four months. The DRDO facility will be built using modular off-site construction with composite truss beam technology, and around 90% of the building components will be manufactured off-site except for the foundations. After witnessing the limited series production light combat helicopter in Tipney's Grey for Indian Air Force, a light combat helicopter in Indian Army livery was spotted taking its flight from Helicopter Division of Hindustan Aeronautics. Hindustan Aeronautics has already delivered three limited series LCH to the Indian Air Force, and by December, a total of 10 LCH would be delivered to the Air Force and the Army, while HAL has retained five LCH for 2022. Pakistan and Turkey held a key laying ceremony to begin construction of the Miljum class corvette for the Pakistan Navy in Karachi. Under the contract signed in 2018, two Miljum class corvettes are being built in Turkey, and the next two will now be built in Pakistan with technology transfer.